<coughs> cough, cough, here we go. A little place I call the Milk Flake Toy Shop. That's an Elizabethan, Smith's Kavak Elizabethan. I used to drive those on the milk round. That's the one behind it, what's that? Can't tell what that is. Uh, kind of Morrison's ish. Well, it looks like it's made by Smith's. Kind of. I don't know what that is. Tow truck. Elizabethan cab behind it. Morrison. What's this? Morrison. Axle down there. There's an axle. You can see it's got the gear reducer on it to reduce the rev from the motor. Another one there. All these axles are different ratios, I believe. Now the main mission for the mission, main reason for my mission, was to uh, take some photos of a three, a couple of chassis lined up there. Is to take a couple of photos of a, a milk flake that's already gone. Now, well maybe this is it here, what's this? Elizabethan cab, axle, I don't know what that is. Is that an, a three, where it might be a range master but I could be completely wrong. Interesting bit of kit there. What is it? A cab. Oh, there's the classic front wheel. Oh, there's the front there. Oh. Well, there's, there's there. I don't know if you can see it. I can't really get back far enough. That there is the classic suburban milk float. Um, wheels, axles, axle casings. This has another one of those classic suburban milk plates but sliding doors. Well, I should know what that's called but I can't. Wales and Edward I think. This is a surprisingly modern thing. Looks absolutely brand new. Yep. And that wonderful beast there, that is my milk float. That one there, the half shafts out and everything off, is going to be mine. It's a Smith's Kavak. And uh, I've commandeered it. That there's a typical float controller with the contactors that clunk in and out. Again, it's half dismantled. There's a, there's a motor there, the shaft going to the back. This is only a quick whiz around, so apologies if the photography is rubbish. There, that wonderful beast there, is my milk flake. And this is the modern version of that. This is, I believe, what they call an Elizabethan consort, which is basically one of those with a more modern body. And I'm sorry for moving the camera around a bit fast. There's the motor hiding under there. That's the Typical chassis. And you see the corrosion, can't you? After that's the one place these chassis gone is on the on corrosion there. After many many years, so they have to have the batteries out. It's these days it's very easy to fix. Just weld on a bit new steel. Now this, what's this? This is another electric vehicle sort of thing. I don't know what this is. Is it a Morrison's door on a? It might be a Morrison's calf on some box body thing that's been built. Um, another axle, another axle. There's another Smith's Kabak, which is just like mine, but more complete condition. Yeah, there's an old Smith's Kabak, waiting for someone to give it a home. Spare cabs, another flight down there, buried, you know. I could really have done with a wide angle lens on the camera. Oh, there are more floats in there. I'm not going to find my way through. Let's see if I can get around. 
And then look at all these axles, front, front and back axles, core, battery box, piles of electric motors and chargers, piles and piles of chargers and electric motors, piles of them, absolute piles of them. Uh, there's a blocker as oh, you can't see the cameras too dark. There's another one of the typical suburban milk sized contactors there. And that thing there, as I tried to show you earlier in the dark room, that right there, are the resistors. So when the float starts off, it limits the current so you don't break the air. Get too much torque and then they switch those out as we pick up speed. That looks like some sort of mechanical hand control there. This whole room is full of float bits. Absolutely full of bits for milk floats. Um, look at this. Everything you could possibly want. Mechanical and this and that and the other. There's a float there, in bits, another cab, another float. And this, that there, is the whole complete front of a Smith's Cabac. In fact, there you have some windscreens, you've got spare windscreens there, curved ones, flat ones. In fact, what I'm actually looking at here are several dismantled cabs for milk flights, including Smith's Cabacs, which obviously stalled flat, it looks like a Morrison door. Long piles of front bumpers there off. Like they look like suspension springs, leaf springs are actually front bumpers. Um, what else can I quickly aim my camera at? A spare roof up there. I think there's another spare roof there, or is that on a float? That's on a float. That's, that's, I can see three floats parked side by side. I don't know if they show up on the camera. I cannot believe the amount of stuff they wedged in. Here's a handy little vehicle here, a desperate need of res renovation, but it's all, yeah, it's a little three-wheeler kind of truck thing. You know, somebody might be interested in doing that up. Now, this is the reason why I'm taking this picture actually, because this place is full of lots of lovely little vehicles. You could, uh, which uh, is not just a traditional milk float either. If you, if anyone wants to do up an electric vehicle, these guys are the place to come to. Because quite frankly, I think they've got more spare bits than they know what to do with. They'd be only too delighted to get rid of some of it. I mean, look at this little thing. Somebody would have some fun with that. Look at it. It's a kind of heavy-duty trundle about. And again, it's just the way for someone to do it up. Um, here's another little truck here. And in there, there's a, a little hand truck, I think, on solid tyres. I mean, I know I'm going to get this filled home and look and regret not doing a better job of the pictures. But, uh, you know, there's a roof there. There's a complete roof of milk float just sat there. Some cabac door. There's a little cuddly little thing there, isn't it? A little truck. A little runabout truck. I like the air freshener. Yeah, that actually might be working. No, it's a cleaner. I don't know what that is. I thought it's cleaner. It's got cleaning brushes on it. Another look at a Smith's Cabac. Sorry, uh, not a Cabac. Uh, whatever it is. What are these things called? I can't remember. That's the classic suburban nut flame. I can't bloomin' remember what, what they're called. But yeah. Now, as it happens, the reason why I came here today was to take pictures of a, a red three-wheeler float, which is already gone. So, it was right here, and it's disappeared. So, there's a handsome chassis there, whatever that is. That's a... Look at that. That is the complete chassis of something. Oh, that's quite something, isn't it? If you were building a custom car now, or a custom truck, that chassis, you know, is ready-made. It looks new, and I think it's another one of those ones that looked earlier. I think, I'm just guessing, I'm not sure, I think it's another one of these. 